Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And once again, a very special guest with more stories from the uh, the throes of college. We have the beautiful, illustrious Charlie with us today. Welcome Thank back. you for coming again four days in a row. So, uh, yeah, yesterday we started the sorority talk and we talked about what trafficking and no exchanges <laughs> basically <cults. laughs> um, basically all sorts of wild ass sorority stuff and you said you had more now, I, I look i just want to say is that exchanging is weird we need to change the culture on that right now all right yeah it's pretty weird also i'm realizing that like all the things i thought were normal are not normal <laughs> like from, right. a, from someone's perspective that wasn't in the greek system you guys are like so interested and i'm like oh this was just totally normal yeah no! i came to a podcast and i left with an like, entirely different perspective on my past <laughs> like a lot of the cult like behavior is pretty standard in a lot of these yeah. or, a lot of fraternity sororities yeah, the whole absolutely. like secretive and like you're a part of a club and a secret organization i feel that it's like the but, skulls and, and we're aware of that yeah like, with some of the things that we do during it's not what is it called not orientation pledge week yeah when you initiation run. initiation duh wow. oh yeah we got to get into the yeah. hazing oh we didn't haze we really i mean the you only can't do that it was like there, subtle so hazing yeah. it was like it wasn't like make them get alcohol oh, poisoning or anything that like have been people illegal since no people, people did that dying. on their own yeah <laughs> oh, you okay. didn't you didn't need to haze girls to get alcohol poisoning they could do that on their own but wow so you talked about the weekly the weekly structure yeah so what happened with like with the uh like the pledges like did they have to do the chores did they have like how did you get treated no pledges were fine i mean you had like rules and stuff that you had to follow like yeah. oh you were not allowed to wear letters on campus because you're not an official initiated mm -hmm. member mm -hmm. and wearing letters i mean like you can't wear the official like gamma phi beta letters okay on you. jonas is living off of, off of the movies back in the 80s where yeah, he used yeah, to, like, yeah. he used to, like make you wear a toilet brush around your neck they can't do that anymore no man. you get in done. a lot of trouble now yeah. what uh, what was the wildest thing you saw happen in the like the whole atmosphere of sorority life or you know oh my god why you were there just i mean at some random party or like what it doesn't have to be with you yeah yeah what's yeah, the wildest yeah. shit you saw period uh oh my god well at my college people would like fall out of windows and die <laughs> oh my god <laughs> die that's yeah. wild as and uh, die <laughs> or get brain damage oh my god they would like fall out of windows and die or get brain damage <laughs> Like, wait, how many? Are exactly. We, like, like, because it wasn't was stated like there was one person that this happened to. No, people would like fall out of windows and die or get brain damage. I'm not laughing at their death. No. I am not either. No, but it's awful. Like, yeah. how many? Like, while you were there, multiple, Mo a f more than a few. What the fuck? Because does that mean? so my my college like. <laughs> The, the big thing was drinking, okay? Oh, right. And that's like, okay, every college. But, like, yeah, I don't know why you yeah. don't hear about people falling out of windows like, often, like a... but this was a thing. How, like, many, how many is more than a few? Like, Give me a ballpark. Was there like 10 six? while you were there? Six. Probably like six. Six people. while you were there only. Yeah. Oh my so God. That's, that's no, Four years. no idea how many before you or no. how many after. Probably a lot. Oh, okay. and, did, and did you hear about all of them? There's probably some you didn't hear yeah, about. Yeah, probably. Oh, you probably hear about Man, them all. So that's like one and a half a year. That's a lot. Yeah. That's crazy. The only people I've known that fell out of a window, zero. Yeah, zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm I mean, a like, six. Unless you're so. like against the Russian government, falling out of a window ain't like a normal thing. You get so drunk, you just fall from like a three stories up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could see that. I like, see they're that. just yeah. like partying on the roof and like fell off. There's windows, you know? Like was windows? there was there any uh, was there any like uh, anybody that would go around and make sure like the underage people weren't drinking oh, no. access to that? Point? No, no, that's like it was just kind of a given that anyone walking around late at night on Greek Row was wasted and like I don't know how different does a twenty year old look from a twenty one year old? Yeah, so, yeah, you're right. Did and anybody the cops, flip a car over or set a car on fire or anything like that? Set a car on fire, yeah, and couches after football games. You okay, know? yeah. Storm in the field, oh, you know, big wild, game. You were a wild girl for going to this school. Yeah, it was, it was a good time. I was, <laughs> I, hey, I got a good education. Okay. I, I believe it. Hey, I believe it. I believe it. I I'm mean, hey, you were hung over. I, I was going to say, actually, I don't remember anything I learned in college. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I was you too drunk. You told us a ton of stuff that you remember. I was too college. drunk. No. I was too drunk. Okay, so other than, do you remember, 
Me and Jonas I, went to college too. I want to put this was, out there, but my experience was I nowhere was near this. I was very much surprised that the answer was people like people fell out windows. There and you died. go. Got to quote it well, correctly. Like uh, people, like uh, people. other than like falling out of a window. Yeah. What other wild shit was going on? Like like people setting cars on fire, couches. Like <laughs> I know but I can't think of anything because everything was normal to yeah, me. Yeah. I'm like I don't know. Uh, everyone falling into bushes. Someone falling into a bush when you're walking back from <laughs> okay. the bar. Let me uh, ask you this. What was your favorite story of the entire time you were there? My favorite story? <laughs> yeah. This man, you crazy. You a wild boy. Uh, <laughs> probably like fights. Fights that would break Did out. Did you into a fight, girl? Oh, oh, I have a story. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. When I was a pledge, oh, my no. like first week, my first night ever, uh, I was out with the girl who was supposed to like be... You're like mentor. The, the person who's like assigned to you to watch you because you're 18 years old around. You're a bunch brand of new, like 20, 20 year olds and who have been partying the, the, the for blind ever. leading the blind. In yeah, this like case. I'm fresh out of high school. So uh, she's guarding you from the predators who are just like, I mean, ooh, here's a brand new. That's definitely yes, a thing. That's yes. Definitely a thing. Okay, so we go out to a party at a frat and. I somehow get in between these two guys who decide to fight and I get punched in the head and this is my first night ever and I had to like Like your get... first night at school. Yeah, my first well my first night of class yeah, it was like the first yeah. day of class and then that first night it was like, "Oh my god, our first exchange ever." And then we went to the exchange, and then we went out to a frat party later and yeah, I got punched in the f in the head as so, like a so did bystander. You, did you and put an asterisk by them? Uh, actually, my <laughs> sorority president had to talk to that fraternity president, and they had to apologize to me. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's yeah. Did you believe it? Was it authentic? The yeah, apology? I guess. I mean, I mean I they're like he drunk meant to punch boys. In the head, right? Yeah, nobody mean, meant to. Did, hit like, a girl. did you see anything like like you said the fights? Like, did you see like anything that was like, oh, that went too far? Uh, yeah, someone like breaking a glass, but not just a glass, like uh, a very large, like a like a vase, basically. But you drank them at the bar, and, and he's, someone smashed it on another a dude's head. Smile. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, it's bad. I think you got blacklisted for that one. I would say that would cause a blacklist. At yeah, a bar, probably. I so. I've seen bar fights turn out really bad, you know. So don't I hit saw, don't hit anybody over the head with a bottle because you can cause some serious. I saw a dude there. get a pool cue broken over his back at a bar one time. Oh. That doesn't seem like that'd be too bad. It hit, he hit it oh, over okay, his let's shoulder. Try. Hey, you got a pool? We're pool, gonna do it for as yeah. long as we, we're gonna make a short out of it. Yeah, <laughs> for anything for a view. <laughs> anything for the views. Uh, yeah, he he like slammed it and it hit him like on the, the shoulder on the back and it snapped over. I'm like, I'm sure yeah. that hurt like a bee. Oh my god. Yeah, it was wild. Mm. It was crazy. Nothing yeah. like that in my. They're college. probably on meth. You, oh, never, okay. you never got into any fights yourself? No, I'm well. I Have mean, you? there was a one time. I kind of scared. Okay, I'm very tall, and I kind of scared this girl who How tall had are been you, like, seeing intimidated my. Her? How tall? Yeah. Are you? Hell yeah. I'm five ten. Five ten. Okay. I, there was this girl who was like seeing my ex boyfriend, and I didn't like her. And, and I, you were like, "You better we, get out of here." We ran in, into each other in the bathroom, and she was scared of me. Oh, you so. just like you like you like oh, you just funny meeting her? you here. I, yeah, I kind of started the hell out of here. I kind of started yelling, and then she like ran oh away. So. Oh my god. Oh, she like. But I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> I'm really not that type of person. How tall is she? No, I'm not. Five foot. Probably like five six. Oh, see, so like we're like towering. This little over. girl, like, you know. Listen up, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't ever bring your feet. I in wouldn't this house have again. done anything. I well, wouldn't. I don't know the alcohol. Sometimes that's that's one thing. Like the drinking culture there is so strong, okay. and now that we're all getting older, because I'm like almost ten years removed from college. Okay. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. a lot of people are like posting on social media that they've gone sober and i'm like you used to be the biggest freaking alcohol yeah. i mean yeah, good for the that reason. that's awesome like because it was so normal in college to just like i said black out like four or five times a week so. yeah i mean i know i mean i know quite a few people from like my younger years that like ended up with problems whether yeah. it's drugs or yeah. alcohol or yep. something else and went to rehab or Tons i mean a them. lot of them have died yeah from, like overdoses and shit like it's it's wild man yeah you'll come across that age have, have you had any of your sorority mates die on you yet uh for i know a couple of guys from fraternities who have died yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's that's not, the not thing really man sorority. i remember my first high school friend that i had that had passed on me it's one of those sobering things where you're like whoa I really am lucky to make it to yeah. the age that I'm at. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, 
I'm really surprised that you never got into a fight because you look like you can throw down. I'm not going to lie. You came in through the well, door. You, yeah, you, you had your brass you had, knucks on. What a compliment. You had four four inch heels on. I was like, this girl <laughs> is going to kick my ass. <laughs> and I will. And yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah. All right. You, I mean, you seem ruthless. Yeah. We'll put that on. We'll make that into a short, too. Any any well, last uh, words on sorority life? Uh, I, I would never let my daughter join a sorority. Really? really? No. Why not? I because... Well, and nowadays they're so different. Like they used to be a lot more lax, which is honestly probably pretty bad. But it it's not worth the money, first of all. Um, you have to pay. To you get pay for your friends. That's like a common oh, saying. Okay. Is okay. like you paying for your friends in a sorority. Yeah, yeah. You pay a lot. You pay to live in the house, and you pay the meals, and you pay the dues, how and much, all that. How much a month are we talking? I don't know, because my parents paid for it. Isn't that awful? No, uh, they paid for you to get blackout drunk. Yeah, they Thanks, did. Thanks, mom. Wow. But I met my lifelong sisters. Oh. <laughs> you talk how to many girls still talk to you today? Yeah. Oh yeah, I have a whole group of girls that oh, okay. I. Oh, that's right. nice. Well, we, I mean, so you, you at least literally have a gl group of close friends from. Yeah. Them. And see, and yeah, that's yeah. the thing is that they do. They keep a lot of these friends lifelong, and if they have like connections in certain industries, that translates. Well, th man. that's the whole thing about yeah. frats and stuff. Is yeah. like, oh, like networking. My my frat brother's yeah. now like a CEO at wherever, mm -hmm. and I'm a what you know. It's like yeah. they hook each other up because they. Yep. Yeah. So, so you yeah. wouldn't let your daughter join even after knowing some of the benefits? No, I just, well, I don't know. If the culture changes around like drinking and partying and, and the hazing, and the, I think honestly the fraternities are more of the problem. Uh, yeah. They're, I would say, they're yeah. really scary. You get scary. a bunch of 18 year old dudes with testosterone just blaring yeah. and, and like. I'm like, not going to lie. Everything she's told us so far, I'm like, were you safe? Yeah. <laughs> but she has not. To, oh, no my point God. That she led to the fact that she did not feel safe. So I'm like, okay. No, the stories that boys would tell about what happened in their frats was crazy. So, I'm, oh, I bet. I'm just, yeah, we were not hazed. Boys were, but we were not. So. Yeah, fair Guys enough. Guys are dicks. Yeah. Yeah. So. Wait, what? I'm a nice guy. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> says, says the nice guy. Yeah. Uh. -huh, yeah. uh <laughs> That's all time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecrazysound.com for Jonas. TNT and Charlie. Uh, we out.